evolution of Winnie the Pooh. Pooh makes his debut appearance in the 1966 animated short Winnie the Pooh and the Honey Tree, voiced by Sterling Holloway as an anthropomorphic teddy bear and the main character in Disney's Winnie the Pooh franchise, as well as one of the most popular characters adapted by Disney. He is depicted as a stuffed toy belonging to Christopher Robin, a boy and his friend in the story. He has yellow fur and a red shirt, which his belly hangs out of. He also has black stitches, which often open up after he overeats, but since he is stuffed with fluff, he can't feel any pain. He is generally kind and friendly towards everyone and has a demeanor that is childlike and innocent. Because of his limited intelligence, however, Pooh is extremely naive. His most prominent traits are his love of honey and reputation as a bear of very little brains. In the movie, Winnie the Pooh tries to get honey with many failed attempts, after which he gets honey from his friend, Rabbit, and after stuffing his face with all his honey, he gets stuck in his front door. As a result, he had to lose weight before he could finally get out of the doorway. Next, Pooh appears in the 1968 animated short Winnie the Pooh and the Blustery Day. Following the first one, again as the main protagonist along with his friends, he is also voiced by Sterling Holloway. Pooh learns from Gopher that it is Wednesday, so he travels to wish his friends a happy Wednesday, but is forced to rescue Piglet with Piglet's unraveled scarf when the strong winds blow him away. During the adventure, Pooh inadvertently harvests Rabbit's carrots while plowing through Rabbit's garden. Pooh eventually floats into Piglet, inadvertently rescuing his friend from the flood. Both arrive at Christopher Robin's home, and Pooh is given a party in honor of his actions after the flood ends. Pooh makes his next appearance in the 1974 animated short, Winnie the Pooh and Tigger 2, being again voiced by Sterling Holloway. Pooh is roped into Rabbit's plan to lose his friend, Tigger, in the mist as a punishment for his excessive bouncing and ruining his garden. However, Pooh Rabbit and Piglet get lost instead. Rabbit walks off on his own, and Pooh is able to get himself and Piglet home, claiming that his honeypots were calling to his stomach. The closing scene of the movie shows Pooh and his friends dealing with the fact that Christopher Robin must go away to school. Next, in the 1997 animated movie, The Many Adventures of Winnie the Pooh, which is the first full-length movie in the franchise, consisting of three previous animated shorts with extra material where Pooh interacts with the narrator to introduce the three stories and link them together. A short scene was added to bring the movie to a close, where Christopher Robin must leave behind the Hundred Acre Wood, a place where Pooh and other characters live, to start school. The narrator concludes that wherever Christopher Robin goes, Pooh will always be waiting. The 1981 short Winnie the Pooh Discovers the Seasons is the first animated educational short in the franchise, featuring Pooh, who is here voiced by Hale Smith. Pooh is presented by Christopher Robin with an interesting new gift, a calendar. Pooh has never seen one before, and Christopher Robin explains that it is a way of keeping track of the days, weeks, months, and seasons. The calendar stops at each season, with Pooh and the others in the Hundred Acre Wood exploring the world around them and noticing the changes. Pooh reappears in the 1983 animated short Winnie the Pooh and a Day for Ewar, which is the last animated short in the Winnie the Pooh movie series. He is also voiced by Hal Smith. Pooh is the first to learn of Eeyore's birthday and decides to commemorate the day by gifting the donkey with a pot of honey. While walking to Eeyore's house, Pooh becomes distracted by his rumbling tummy, prompting him to eat the honey at hand. It isn't until after the pot is empty that he realizes he ate Eeyore's gift. Fortunately, the empty pot is still put to good use as a place to store Piglet's popped balloon. Pooh appears again in the 1983 Welcome to Pooh Corner, which is the first live-action puppet TV show in the franchise. In the TV show, Pooh is portrayed by a live actor operating a puppet suit. His voice was done by Hale Smith. Pooh has his own song he performs called The Right Side, originally written for Mary Poppins. He also performed a duet with Piglet called Please and Thank You. This incarnation of Pooh is unique in that he is portrayed to be smarter than usual. Pooh appears in the 1988 TV show, The New Adventures of Winnie the Pooh, 
as one of the main characters. He is voiced by Jim Cummings. Here, he is often shown dealing with various conflicts involving his friends. The ending of some episodes shows Pooh recounting the day's events to Christopher Robin. A few episodes show Pooh taking up the alter ego of the masked bear, an old west-style cowboy, with Aeor as his faithful steed. The show also shows that Pooh and the group would often visit Christopher Robin at his home, where many adventures are found. Pooh makes his next appearance in the 1990 animated crossover special, Cartoon All-Stars, to the rescue. As one of the main and most popular characters, he is again voiced by Jim Cummings. Here, he belongs to a little girl named Corinne, being one of her stuffed animals, and later goes back into a poster at the end of the movie. In one scene, Pooh gives Corinne advice to tell her parents that she thinks her brother is up to something, but Corinne thinks her brother would be angry at her if she did. To this, Pooh replies, but what would happen to him if you don't tell? Pooh reappears in the 1991 TV special, Winnie the Pooh and Christmas 2, voiced by Jim Cummings. Here, he is initially wearing winter clothes as opposed to his usual red t-shirt, and later would disguise himself as Santa. Two days before Christmas, Christopher Robin writes a letter to Santa Claus to say what he and his friends would like for Christmas. After Christopher Robin throws the letter into the wind to send it to the North Pole, Piglet points out that Pooh has forgotten to tell Santa what he wants. They find the letter, redo it, and send it off again. But when Pooh finds that the letter has blown back to his house, he takes it upon himself to try to get his friends what they want by dressing up as Santa to deliver them. Unfortunately, the hastily made presents fall apart, and his friends decide to go after the fake Santa, not realizing it's Pooh until moments later. Pooh can be seen again in the 1966 Halloween special, Boo to You Too, Winnie the Pooh with the voice provided by Jim Cummings. On Halloween, Pooh and his friends are eager to go trick-or-treating. Piglet has never gone trick-or-treating, having always been too afraid of the frightening atmosphere of Halloween. Sympathetic to Piglet's fear, Pooh and others decide to avoid the frightening aspects of Halloween and throw Piglet a less frightening Hallow wasn't party instead, with Pooh dressing up as a bee as a testament of his love for honey. Pooh makes his next appearance in the 1997 animated movie, Pooh's Grand Adventure, The Search for Christopher Robin, which is the first feature-length movie in the franchise, voiced again by Jim Cummings. The movie follows Pooh and his friends on a journey to find and rescue their friend Christopher Robin from the skull. Along the way, Pooh and the group confront their own insecurities throughout the search, facing and overcoming them in a series of events where they're forced to act beyond their own known limits thus discovering their true potential. Next, Pooh appears in the 1988 TV special, A Winnie the Pooh Thanksgiving, voiced by Jim Cummings. During Thanksgiving, in the Hundred Acre Wood, Pooh and his friends bring food for the feast, with Pooh bringing honey. After some attempted preparation, they almost ruined the whole holiday and everyone decided to leave. Despite everyone else giving up on Thanksgiving, Pooh comes to realize that it's more about giving and sharing what you have with your friends. In light of this realization, he gathers all of his friends back up, and they proceed with their original Thanksgiving feast, thus learning the true meaning of Thanksgiving. Pooh appears again in the 1999 TV special, Winnie the Pooh, A Valentine for You, voiced by Jim Cummings. When Pooh and his friends discover that Christopher Robin has fallen in love with a girl, they believe that he won't have time for them anymore. After Owl tells them about the love bug, the gang decides to find one to cure Christopher Robin of his lovesickness. But Pooh decides to let the bug go so Christopher Robin can be happy with who he has now. The next morning, however, Pooh and his friends receive Valentine cards from Christopher Robin and they learn there's room in the heart for friends both old and new. Winnie appears next in the 1999 animated movie, Winnie the Pooh, Seasons of Giving, which is a compilation featuring a Winnie the Pooh Thanksgiving and two episodes of the new adventures of Winnie the Pooh, Ground Piglet Day and Find Her, Keep Her. He was voiced by Jim Cummings. Then, Pooh appears in the 2000 animated movie, the Tigger movie, for the first time as not being the only main protagonist, with an edition of Tigger, voiced by Jim Cummings, here, the story is centered around Pooh's friend Tigger, who, for the first time in his life, 
realizes how boring it is to be the only one of his kind and excitedly decides to search for his family with the help of Pooh and other friends. Pooh can be seen wearing a tiger costume at the party for Tigger, together with others, in an attempt to encourage him. In the TV show, Pooh makes numerous non-speaking cameos, usually in the background. Pooh first appears in the intro, floating to his table via a red balloon. In the episode, The Three Caballeros, Mickey mentions, I see a bear of very little brain in the audience. After this line, there is a shot of Pooh sitting at his table. Knowing Mickey is referring to him, he smiles and waves to Mickey. Mickey responds that he was just kidding and offers Pooh a pot of honey on the house. Pooh also makes several cameos in the 2001 spin-off movie. Mickey's Magical Christmas, snowed in at the House of Mouse, and in this crossover version, his role is extended. Pooh appears next in the 2001 puppet TV show, The Book of Pooh, voiced again by Jim Cummings. Pooh is portrayed by a bun rock style puppet so that the show resembles a pop up book. Pooh's adventures are geared more towards educating the viewer. Pooh makes his next appearance in the 2001 movie, The Book of Pooh Stories from the Heart being voiced by Jim Cummings. It has six episodes with footage from the TV show The Book of Pooh, with each being dedicated to a specific character. Pooh is the main focus of the first episode, Called Over the Hill. Pooh made his appearance in the 2002 animated movie, Mickey's House of Villains, being trapped in the kitchen, along with other Disney heroes when the Disney villains took over the club. Pooh appears again in the 2002 animated movie, Winnie the Pooh. A Very Merry Pooh Year, voiced by Jim Cummings. The story begins with an opening segment in which Pooh hides a present he has for Piglet. Then, he and others gather together and tell Roo about a past Christmas, as seen in Winnie the Pooh and Christmas Too. Later, they recall a New Year's in which Rabbit wanted to move away because he was irritated with Pooh's honey eating, Tigger's bouncing, Piglet's being afraid, and Eeyore's gloominess. So Pooh and his friends made resolutions to change and swapped personalities. Pooh makes a non-talking cameo appearance in episode, The Fat and the Furriest. In Homer's Nightmare, Pooh and other bears are seen marching angrily towards Homer. Also, in episode Waverly Hills, 9021 Doe. At one point, Homer and Marge flip a wine poster to reveal a picture of Tigger and place a Pooh doll on the shelf. Pooh appears next in the 2003 animated movie, Piglet's Big Movie, as one of the main characters, voiced by Jim Cummings. When Pooh and his friends begin a honey harvest, young Piglet is excluded and told that he is too small to help. Feeling inferior, Piglet disappears, which causes Pooh and others to use Piglet's scrapbook as a map to find him. In the process, they discover that this very small animal has been a big hero in a lot of ways. Pooh makes his next appearance in the 2004 special, Winnie the Pooh, ABCs as one of the main characters. Here, Pooh's friend, Christopher Robin, has written a book of rhymes about all of his friends in the Hundred Acre Wood. But after the pages of the book scattered in the wind, Pooh, together with others, must put it back together, learning letters and rhyme in the process. Pooh appears next in the 2004 special, Winnie the Pooh, one, two, threes, again, as one of the main characters. Christopher Robin has invited Winnie the Pooh and his other friends to a potluck. Each guest must bring ten things to share at the party, but how many is ten? So Pooh and everyone else discover and learn the numbers together. Pooh comes next in the 2004 animated movie Winnie the Pooh, springtime with Rue as one of the minor protagonists, voiced again by Jim Cummings. Pooh and his friends pay Rabbit a visit to celebrate Easter, but instead of finding an Easter party, they find a spring cleaning day celebration. Rabbit refuses to celebrate Easter, and a very disappointed Rue tries to cheer him up and change his mind. Pooh can be seen in the 2005 animated movie, Pooh's Heffalump Movie, as one of the subtagonists, voiced by Jim Cummings. A heffalump is heard trumpeting in the Hundred Acre Woods, which scares Pooh and others. So they decide to rush to Rabbit's house for advice. Roo joins them and they all agree that heffalumps are nearby after finding a huge footprint. Pooh and his friends decide to set out on an expedition to catch the heffalump.
Pooh reappears in the 2005 movie sequel, Pooh's Heffalump Halloween Movie, which features the segment Boo to You Too, Winnie the Pooh, voiced by Jim Cummings. He can be seen wearing several Halloween costumes, a bee, spookable, and a honeypot. Pooh and his friends are excited about going trick-or-treating for the first time with their elephant friend, Lumpy. They also go on an adventure to catch the gobloon before it catches them so that they can make a wish. Pooh appears in the 2006 special, Winnie the Pooh Shapes and Sizes as one of the main protagonists. Pooh's friend, Rabbit, needs his help to find boxes, baskets, and crates of all shapes and sizes in order to organize his garden goodies. The trouble is, Pooh isn't sure which shape is which and what size is what. But with a little help from Owl and some fun-filled observation of things around the Hundred Acre Wood, Pooh learns how to fit different vegetable shapes into right-size baskets in time for a very unique and special harvest feast. Pooh reappears in the 2006 special, Winnie the Pooh, Wonderful Word Adventure, as one of the leading characters. Owl has organized an elaborate and fun series of word game races in the forest. To win, Pooh and his friends have to build their vocabulary and language skills. Along the way, they learn the meaning of opposites through silly situations that illustrate the word opposite. Pooh's design has been used for the new version of Pudsy Bear in the TV show since 2006. Pooh is also one of the mascots of children in need who interacts with children with disabilities based on reading and speech challenges. The 2007 TV show, My Friends Tigger and Pooh, which is the first Winnie the Pooh incarnation to be fully animated in CGI, features Winnie the Pooh as one of the main characters together with his friends, including two new characters, a brave, tomboyish six-year-old red-headed girl named Darby, who is main human friend of Pooh and the gang, and her dog, Buster. Here he is voiced again by Jim Cummings. Pooh, Tigger, and Darby together form the trio of super sleuths and investigate mysteries in the Hundred Acre Wood. Their friends know that when they have a problem, they may sound the sleuther siren, raise the finder flag, and the super sleuths will be on the case. The super sleuths solve their problems by thinking and asking questions. They wear blue outfits bearing question mark icons and use sleuther scooters to get around. Pooh can be seen in the 2007 animated movie My Friends Tigger and Pooh Super Sleuth Christmas Movie, which is based on the previous TV show My Friends Tigger and Pooh as one of the main protagonists, voiced also by Jim Cummings. One Christmas, Darby and Buster spend the evening at Pooh's house with their friends from the Hundred Acre Wood. Playing outside, Rue and Lumpy the Heffalump find a red sack and a reindeer named Holly stuck in a thicket patch. Holly explains that she is one of Santa's reindeer, and she's looking for Santa Claus' magical sack after it fell off of his sleigh during a practice run. Rue and Lumpy have the sack, but Holly doesn't know how to get home. Pooh and the friends set off towards the North Pole. After some difficulties, including the loss of Tigger's mask, the group considers giving up, but Darby convinces them to persevere and to keep on going. They return the sack to Santa, and he takes Pooh and others out in his sleigh to deliver presents. Santa brings the friends home in time to celebrate Christmas at Pooh's house. Pooh makes an appearance in the 2007 animated movie, Bee Movie, when, at one point, a man spies after Pooh and Piglet eating honey. The bee berry tells him to take him out with a tranquilizer dart. Jim Cummings provided Pooh's vocal effects. The 2009 animated movie, Tigger, Pooh, and a Musical 2, shows Pooh Darby and Tigger making a musical concert for the Hundred Acre Wood. He is still voiced by Jim Cummings. Their musical is focused on Tigger and Rabbit having an argument that leads them to split the Hundred Acre Wood into two sides and declare themselves mayors of their respective sides. Pooh makes several appearances in the TV show Family Guy. In episode Road to the Multiverse, Chris appears as a Winnie the Pooh parody, eating honey straight out of a beehive. Then, Pooh appears in episode Road to the North Pole, with his friend Eeyore trying to cheer him up and asking him why he's always in such a bad mood. The 2010 animated movie Super Duper Super Sleuths features Pooh again as one of the main characters in the story, voiced by Jim Cummings. A shooting star falls from outer space towards the Hundred Acre Wood. Pooh and his friends are out in the Hundred Acre Wood one night, playing flashlight tag with the fireflies. The shooting star lands in Rabbit's garden, and the super sleuths get a call from Rabbit who claims his vegetables are giant. 
They discover the space rock and eat these giant vegetables, which gives them superpowers, with Pooh getting super sight after eating a giant carrot. They make new costumes and continue to help others around with their new superpowers. In the TV show, Mad Pooh appears several times. First, in the episode called Mad vs. Wild, in the sketch, a running gag consists of Man vs. Wild host Bear Grylls being mauled by Pooh, who acts like a real bear. Next, in episode Pooh Grit, Christopher Robin hires Pooh to apprehend Tigger for bouncing his father. In episode Fast Hive, Pooh is recruiting characters from the movie Fast Five to help find some honey. Pooh reappears in the 2011 traditionally animated movie Winnie the Pooh as the main protagonist being voiced by Jim Cummings. The setting takes place inside a book, which tells about the adventures of Christopher Robin, Winnie the Pooh, and their friends, who all live in the Hundred Acre Wood. During an ordinary day in Hundred Acre Wood, Pooh sets out to find some honey. Misinterpreting a note from Christopher Robin, Owl convinces Pooh and the others that their young friend has been captured by a creature named the Baxin, and they set out to save him. In the 2011 movie The Muppets, before the telethon, briefly, the outside of the soda shop shows the merchandising of Winnie the Pooh. Pooh also makes a few appearances in the popular TV show Robot Chicken. First, in episode Poisoned by Relatives, Pooh is featured as a contestant on the game show The Fattest Fat Loser. Then, in episode, Bugs Keith in I Can't Call Heaven Dog, Pooh tries to get honey from a beehive, only to find that the bees are dead. When Eeyore tells him that he can eat anything because he's a bear, Pooh eats Christopher Robin. And in episode, May Cause an Excess of Ham, the rogue planet Melancholia is hurtling towards the Hundred Acre Wood. Eeyore is excited upon hearing that he, Pooh, and Piglet are going to die. Due to having to put up with his own hardships for too long, only for Melancholia to burn up upon entering the Earth's atmosphere. Pooh makes a guest appearance in the TV show, episode 107, Into the Hundred Acre Wood, voiced by Jim Cummings. After spotting Winnie the Pooh floating through McStuffinsville, Doc and the toys follow him back to the Hundred Acre Wood to help him. Pooh appears in the 2018 live-action movie, Christopher Robin, as one of the main protagonists, voiced by Jim Cummings. Here, he takes on the appearance of a more realistic toy bear than in previous versions. Christopher Robin is leaving for boarding school, so his friends from the Hundred Acre Wood, Winnie the Pooh, and others throw a goodbye party. Christopher comforts Pooh and tells him that he will never forget him. Christopher goes to boarding school, after which he grows up, meets and marries architect Evelyn, with whom he has a daughter, Madeline. He neglects his family due to his demanding job and plans on sending Madeline to boarding school. When Pooh awakens and is unable to find his friends, he decides to travel through Christopher's door and finds himself in London. He reunites with Christopher, who is shocked to see Pooh, but takes him back to his London home. After a night and morning of chaos, including Pooh knocking down all of his kitchen shelves in search of honey, Christopher escorts the bear back to Sussex on the next train. In the end of their journey, Christopher finally takes his family and the quartet into the Hundred Acre Wood to meet his other friends. As everyone relaxes at a picnic, Pooh and Christopher Robin share a tender moment together. A Pooh toy appears in one of the episodes of the TV show, being carried by the actor, Ewan McGregor, who played the role of Christopher Robin in the movie Christopher Robin. Pooh, as expected, was dressed in a red shirt but with no buttons and looked lovably worn. In the 2018 animated movie, Ralph Breaks the Internet, a picture of Pooh sitting at his house can be seen in a Winnie the Pooh-themed section of Oh My Disney as Vanilla von Schweetz escapes First Order Stormtroopers. Pooh first appears in the South Park episode Banned in China, together with Piglet, to be imprisoned in China, a reference to Pooh getting banned in the country due to unfavorable comparisons to President Xi Jinping. Later, Pooh is brutally killed by Randy Marsh, in another episode, Tegrity Farms Halloween Special, when he becomes a zombie attempting to kill Randy Marsh for revenge, though Randy was facing a hallucination at the time. He is voiced by Brock Baker. The 2021 theater musical, Winnie the Pooh, the new musical adaptation, utilizes life-size puppets of Winnie the Pooh and his friends to bring the classic stories of the many adventures of Winnie the Pooh to life.
who makes several cameo appearances in the 2021 special short, The Simpsons in Plusiversary. First in the beginning, when Homer complains that Winnie the Pooh is allowed to the party despite not wearing any pants. And then he can be seen sitting at a table, drinking honey together with fairies, Doctor Strange, and others. Pooh makes a cameo appearance in the TV show as a plush toy in a kid's room in the episode. Welcome to Monsters, Incorporated. Pooh makes a cameo appearance in the 2022 animated movie, Chip and Dale, Rescue Rangers. While Chip and Dale are being chased by Sweet Pete through his bootleg movie operation, they run through the set of Poogee, the Fat Honey Bear, featuring altered versions of Pooh and others. Pooh appears in the TV show, Explosie Entertainment Shorts, and shown in the episode Pooh's Fantastic Adventure, hospitalized after subsequently stress-eating expired honey, and ultimately killed by Piglet putting battery acid in his IV drip. Pooh appears next in the 2023 animated short, Once Upon a Studio. He is first seen having gotten stuck in his painting, with Christopher Robin, Kanga, and Eeyore trying to pull him out. Pooh later sings a solo line of When You Wish Upon a Star, while getting pounced by Tigger, and was also seen in the group photo in the end. The 2023 TV show, Playdate with Winnie the Pooh features Pooh and his friends as children. He and his friends enjoy all kinds of playdates at their treehouse in the Hundred Acre Wood. Here is the second time when Pooh has real eyes, as opposed to just black dots. Also, instead of his usual red shirt, he has a red hoodie with white strings. He is voiced by Leon Chen. The 2023 TV show, Me and Winnie the Pooh, which takes place within the same universe as Playdate with Winnie the Pooh, where Pooh and his friends are children. He is again voiced by Leon Chen. Pooh stars in vlog-style shorts. Unlike its sister series, as well as previous series released before them, Pooh does not appear in every episode. In the 2023 animated movie, Wish, Pooh was among the Disney animated characters that appeared during the credits. Pooh's image additionally came with a honeypot. The 2023 movie, Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey, which serves as a horror retelling of the original story, follows Pooh and Piglet, who have now become feral and bloodthirsty murderers, as they terrorize a group of young university women and an adult Christopher Robin when he returns to the Hundred Acre Wood years later after leaving for college. His role reprised Craig David Dowsett. This version of Pooh doesn't have his usual red shirt in the show to avoid copyright issues. He is shown as a half-human hybrid, wearing grotesque animal masks, who is supremely strong, tough enough to survive being hit by a car at full speed, and is capable of controlling swarms of bees. The design of the Pooh masks does pretty obviously take cues from Disney's version, particularly the eyebrows and general shape of his face. He also doesn't say a single word during the movie, Pooh appears again in the 2024 movie, Winnie the Pooh, Blood, and Honey 2, which is the second installment of the Twisted Childhood universe and a sequel to Winnie the Pooh, Blood, and Honey 1, which also serves as a horror reimagining of the original story, as the titular character and still the most prominent villain. His role is reprised by Ryan Oliva. The movie follows Pooh and his team as they embark on a murderous rampage through Christopher Robin's childhood to seek revenge on him for revealing their existence to the world. Here, he is depicted as a feral, bloodthirsty bear-like humanoid who was abandoned by Christopher Robin and was once Christopher's brother, Billy. It was also revealed that Pooh and his friends were once human children involved in experimentation, which turned them into human-animal hybrids. Pooh and his friends are now talking, unlike the first movie, but have new accents to avoid legal trouble with Disney. 